Heidi Kolk, and I'm assistant professor at the Sam Fox School in Design and Visual Arts, and I teach in American Culture Studies in the areas of material and visual culture. My favorite book about the American experience is Dolores Hayden's The Power of Place, Urban Landscapes as Public History. Dolores Hayden is an urban historian, a poet, an American studies scholar formerly associated with Yale University. She worked for several decades as a community-based public historian. And the book is engaged with the public past as it is expressed through uh, local uh, ideas of place, the stories that people tell, the photographs they keep, and the internalized uh, sense of place, the landscapes they carry around with them every day. What I find powerful about the book is that it invites us to think about non-canonical source materials and to engage in the stories that everyday Americans tell about their experiences of their city. And in particular, the ways in which their city is a contested place one that is shaped by politics, by urban planning, by the work of major corporations, but also the everyday experiences of building um, a community. And in particular, Hayden prioritizes what she calls fragments of local knowledge, which are produced by ordinary working people as they go about their daily lives, building their uh, neighborhoods and their families and their places of business, um, in often a kind of tension with those who have authority over their city. In particular, this is a rich and powerful example of localized vernacular history. It gives students and other researchers a chance to think deeply about the intangible forms of place that are um, experienced by all of us and to um, negotiate with a more complicated uh, view of our everyday uh, spaces and places. What I think is powerful about this book in this moment is that it reminds us how much of our lived experience is framed and uh, determined by the efforts of everyday folks. And in particular, it brings into view the experiences of uh, working people, women, people of color, who have often been excluded from cultural histories, urban histories, um, and the archive itself. It also urges us to reconstruct the history of the city in a more inclusive and multi-layered way, uh, paying attention to the more intangible forms of cultural experience that we can reconstruct through painstaking efforts to communicate with uh, those who live in the neighborhoods and experience the daily life of the city. Um, these fragments of knowledge that I mentioned earlier. Um, one of the things that Hayden says powerfully in this book that I might end with um, is that a spatial analysis of the city cannot be balanced, fair, inclusive if it does not consider the active roles of diverse workers searching for what she calls their livelihood and their well-being in a city that is not always built for them. Um, and it needs to elevate that experience uh, and put it next to those of the decision makers, the bankers, the corporations, the police officers, and others who have power over the city. <laughs>